Hi guys, it's Azim again from netsco.com. In the previous video tutorial, we included Bootstrap in our project, and uh, in this video, we are going to use that Bootstrap and uh, we are going to update our views uh, so that uh, they will look nice. So let's go to our views folder and let's go to our layout file. If we go to this main layout file, we can see that uh, this default main file is uh, loading some CSS and uh, JavaScript files. Let's copy this. Let's go back here. Let's paste it here. Right now we are in public folder. And if we want to go to this uh, fonts folder or CSS folder, then we can uh, type CSS slash and right now we are in uh, CSS folder. And we want to load this uh, first is bootstrap.min file. Second is the bootstrap dot theme dot min file and the last css file that we are going to load is style dot css file and let's load some javascript files in our javascript folder First, we are going to include this jQuery file because Bootstrap depends on this jQuery file. So that's why we are going to include it first. Then we are going to include bootstrap.min file. jQuery. And bootstrap.min file. And then our custom file where we will write our custom js custom perfect our bootstrap is included in our project but here is one best practice that you should follow you should always include js files before closing this body tag it will improve your page loading speed so uh, we are going to include these uh, JS files right before closing this body tag. Let's create a bootstrap div class container. And right now I'm assuming that you have uh, basic knowledge of bootstrap and basic knowledge of uh, jQuery and HTML, CSS and uh, JavaScript. Let's copy it and paste it in this container. Now I'm going to remove this main and this welcome file from here. And let's remove content from this file as well this file is going to extend this layout file we will pass the title of our page to this layout file which is our books and then we will pass the html to this layout file if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. We are passing two parameters in this layout file. First one is the title that we will add here. And second one is the HTML that we will add here. So this index file is extending this layout file and passing title and the HTML that we will substitute in that uh, layout file. all books let me quickly run this 
SPT run. Let's go to our application. Okay, we have error. Uh, this should be. Let's go to our home controller and remove this line. Right now, we are not uh, passing any parameter in our index view. So that's why we got this error. Perfect. Let's go to inspect and refresh your page. If you do not see any error here, then it means that uh, you successfully able to include JS and CSS file into your project. Now I'm going to paste some bootstrap navigation code in this uh, body tag. So this is a very basic uh, navigation of Bootstrap. Uh, we have this uh, brand name, bookstore app, and uh, we have some links. Let me show you in this browser. Let's activate this link and this link. Routes dot books controller dot index to show all books we will go to this index function and to create book we will go to routes dot books controller dot create and our home page for this uh, bookstore application is routes dot home controller dot index Let's refresh it again. Let's uh, go to this page. It's working. Let's go to this and it's working again. Now let me update this uh, index page. Let's get rid of this. And we are going to use Jumbotron from Bootstrap. Let's refresh it again. Now our application looks uh, very nice and uh, in the next video we will update these uh, create page, edit page, index page and show page. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching.